Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Ugly's potato chips. These are all kettle cooked. I have the original sea salt. Uh, salt and vinegar and barbecue. We had never seen this brand before. We found them in the fresh market and the uh, original sea salt they only had in these little bags. Um, but they didn't have these other two flavors in little bags. So we got what we, we got what we could get. And we got the flavors that they had. If they had had more, we would have bought more. Um, the small bag was 75 cents. The uh, larger bags were 250. It doesn't look bad, especially a fresh market. It looks pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, fresh, fresh market is uh, an upscale supermarket. It's more expensive than your regular grocery stores. Uh, so these are Kettle Cooked Uglies Potato Chips Original Sea Salt. Um, always ugly, always delicious. Our chips are crafted from potatoes with minor cosmetic imperfections. Um, save a potato, it says. Ugly food facts. Each year, 30% of food produced worldwide is wasted. That is 1.3 billion tons. 26% of U.S. produce gets discarded for cosmetic reasons. 20% of children worldwide under the age of five are undernourished. So that's why uh, their uh, portion of sales mm -hmm. from Ugly Chips goes to Viva Kids to help fight hunger. Learn more at www.vivakids.org forward slash uglies. And it says what to expect in a bag of uglies imperfectly delicious kettle chips that may have brown edges, spots, or be darker all over. Which are your favorite chips, by the way. <laughs> He's she joking. She doesn't like the brown I ones. I don't eat the brown ones. Um, one serving per container, this one is because it's small, um, is 140 calories. And these are made in uh, Pennsylvania. So, I'm going to try to open this. Yeah. Open it. Yeah. Oh, those—they're not as ugly as. Uh... So they do have brown edges, but I mean that's not bad. But crispy. get some darker ones like that too. Yeah, See, I don't mind those. I don't mind that one either. It's the really dark ones I don't like. Those aren't bad. They need more salt. Mm -hmm. I agree. These are called original sea salt and they're not salty enough. No. The I like the flavor. Good. Yeah. I like the flavor of the potato. The texture's good. It's mm -hmm. not too hard because some kettle corn chips are hard. These aren't hard. They're just good and crunchy. Some of them, I mean, you put it in your mouth and they immediately heart the roof of your mouth. Yeah. They're like bricks. Yeah. Something. These do not, no, these are not like that, but they, they are very crisp, but not too crispy. I like those. If I had a sandwich, I would enjoy eating those. I, I would do, too. I do think they I would like this. I would personally, my personal preference would be a little more salty. It needs, no, I need, it needs more salt. Yeah. Truly, it needs more salt. Okay. But they're good. I like the flavor. Let's Very see, potato. salt and vinegar might be more to our liking. They might be saltier. These are 15 chips, 28 grams, 130 calories. There's 10 less calories. Okay, these, woo, woo, ha, ha. <laughs> You can wow. smell the vinegar. That make your nose hurt. And you can see the darker color in there. Wow. That tastes like the good vinegar you put on fish. Like malt vinegar almost. You know, See, it reminds me of just white, distilled white vinegar. But the vinegar's a strong vinegar, but it's not as strong as some of them have. White distilled vinegar. Yeah. That's what it says. The reason I knew it, the flavor immediately, is because I don't know if any of you all have ever done it, but like my mom would always, uh, a lot of times like during this. the summer for dinner, she would cut up a cucumber and she would put it in vinegar water. So she would like have a bowl sitting on the table and it would have like 
half vinegar in it and half water in it. They're delicious. They're absolutely mm. delicious cucumbers. And I've done that before, but not very often, uh, just because Kevin is not a cucumber eater. But um, I, I like the flavor of those. I like those. They're- um, It's strong. They're, but they're not that strong. I mean, I've had vinegar chips before that hurt your tongue. They're so strong. Yes, we've had vinegar chips, especially some from the United Kingdom that have been really, really, this is a different vinegar flavor though to yeah. me. Yeah. That, it is a white vinegar. Yeah, yeah this is that. this is distilled white vinegar that like you would have up in your uh, cabinet all the time mm -hmm. at home. This is not the vinegar in most chips. I don't right. think. I it's, think it's, it's different. It's still not strong. No, we've had regular just regular white vinegar chips from here, mm -hmm. and they're so, so you strong. Think they're they stronger than these. Yeah, these are just a nice vinegar flavor if you like vinegar. If you don't like vinegar, you're not gonna touch those anyway. No. All right, these are 140 calories a pound for the first time. These are barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Now, what I'm wondering is this going to be spicy or sweet? Now, these are a little. What do, they, what, do they smell spicy or sweet? No, I think so. Look, there's some. They smell oh. like they have some spice in them to me. Oh, yeah, you too. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a fold over. Well, that's the winner. This is the best one. Wow, that is so good. Onion powder, spices, garlic powder, um, paprika, natural mm, like smoke them. flavor. These uh, remind you a little yeah. bit of the Lay's, but they're not as sweet as Lay's. Lay's has like a a sweeter barbecue. These are these are just a really good spice barbecue. They remind me. Somewhat of Grippos. A little bit. The texture and stuff. They're good. They don't have the spices of Grippos. I mean, nowhere near the heat of the Grippos. Well, those are, Bob, out of these three, of course, those are the winners. There's a fold over down there that's calling me. <laughs> I don't have a problem with the uglies either. They, they're, um, mm -mm. the no. really brown ones do have a little bit different flavor, potato-y flavor than the other ones do, but mm -hmm. But if you get one of uh, the barbecue that's covered up with a flake with a seasoning, you don't even notice it. Those are good. I would hope that they would sell those in little bags. I, they I, probably do. For, just, they just didn't at the fresh market. Yeah. They had these. Um, the the regular chips were in the chip aisle. The the regular bags. The small ones were closer, like to the deli. Uh, where they sell like the fresh food. Right. Um, I guess because if you're getting a sandwich or something right, like that. One. You can grab a bag of those. For me, these are the clear winner. I think uh, these are absolutely delicious. They're, they're good. This is one of, one of the better barbecues mm -hmm. I've had. I do not gravitate towards barbecue a lot. I like it, but I, it's just not one that I would choose a lot. I would choose this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, this is excellent. I mean, like five out of five for me, barbecue yeah, flavor. The flavors are good. The good, mm -hmm. good balance of uh, spicy and uh, sweetness and yes. smokiness. And yes, it's a sweet, smoky barbecue yeah. flavor and the texture is terrific mm -hmm. um so this would be my pick would it be yours too mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it just has so much flavor yeah. that it, it, you can't beat it uh so i hope you enjoyed the video if you've seen any other flavors of these let us know because like i said these are the only ones we saw and thanks for watching